had the bang coming from the Duchess's room, and she isn't answering. Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. The Cardinal's not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. My dear Giuseppe, poor health forbids me from joining you. Please thank Sir Gregory for his invitation to Lord Mortimer's. I'm convinced you'll be able to strengthen our agreements. Please tell Sir Gregory that his enterprise concerning our friend Cardinal Bishop Chiarmanti is following its course. I place my trust in you. May God bless you and give you protection. S.S. Giovanni Angelico Braschi Bazant. Amber crystals. Let's have a look at his personal papers. Of course, it's in Latin, the language of the church. All those hours of learning Latin declensions are going to pay off in the end. Mother will be proud. Now this could be interesting. Mancea Sancte, various representation criteria, of which are shown the most common throughout the centuries, and in different forms. If Piaggi's notes are anything to go by, the weapon I'm looking for is shaped like a tapered spear, and that should help me identify it. Not in his room. I bet he went back to stuffing himself. Your Eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? I want to be alone. Very well. I, I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could... You not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to Mr. von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm... I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. His nose is bleeding. So you are looking for the Holy Lands of Longinus, are you? Your Eminence, you're worrying me. What is happening to you? Nothing. Just a moment of weakness, but I'm better now. I am all ears. You are looking for the lance. You should know, you are not the only one. Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? Briefly with President Washington. What does he know exactly? Absolutely nothing. He advised me to speak to Mr. Von Volner. Very well. Is that all? 
Well, I spoke to Mr. Von Volnow about it. Why? Because you are endangering all those who know anything about this lance, Louis. Anyone else? Yes, my mother knows about it. Of course, Sarah. Who else? No one else. What are you going to use the lance for, exactly? If I told you why I needed this lance, you would never believe it. Trust me, you can tell me anything. It's our only chance to vanquish the demons. Oh, my dear God, Louis. You sound just like Sarah. Do you realize you are following the same path, step by step? Sarah also started by imagining things. She, too, spoke of demons, I am told. She could no longer speak to anyone, and saw a hidden monster in every guest, lurking in the shadows, ready to devour her. You must let us help you. Louis, I thank you for your sincerity. I shall answer you about Longinus. You deserve to be told. His spear-headed lance did indeed pierce the side of the Messiah. His blood gushed out, covering the head of the lance. It was covered in the blood of Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Your Eminence. You are welcome. Be careful, Louis. You are on a perilous path. Don't follow Sarah's demons, my boy. Don't delve too deeply into her delusions or you won't be able to come back. The demons that she is frantically trying to drive away are in her own mind. Take good care of yourself. God keep you. Your Eminence, would you have a moment to spare? Not now, Louis. Please, leave me alone. I beg your pardon? I want to be alone. Very well. I. I'm only searching for information about the Lance of Longinus, the soldier. If you, you could... Are not listening to me. You are playing with fire. I heard you speak to Mr. Von Volner about it, and I was wondering if you could tell me something about it. That was a private conversation. How could I have known that he was listening to us? Hmm. I see what you mean. Louis, don't push it. Leave while you still can. Your Eminence, are you all right? Your Eminence, are you with me? Can you turn around, please? What do you want to know about the Holy Lands, Louis? Your Eminence, turn around. This is the weapon used by a Roman centurion on the very day Christ was nailed to the cross. Look at me. Longinus thrust his lance in the right side of Jesus. Please. As you wish. So, you are looking for the Holy Lance of Longinus, are you? Of course not, Your Eminence. Come now, Louis. Please, don't insult me. It's just a pity that you have no idea why you are looking for it. You are looking for the Lance. You should know, you are not the only one. Lord Mortimer has spent a good part of his life and his fortune trying to find it. Never will he let you have it. But tell me, before going any further, have you spoken to anyone else about this? No. You are the first I've spoken to about it, Your Eminence. Calm now, Louis. Are you quite sure of that? No, no, Your Eminence. I thought you'd be the only one able to help me with it. Your words lack conviction, Louis. If I'm asking you all these things, it's for your own good, you know. You have no reason to lie to me. Louis, you should abandon your project. I say this for your own good. You will only get burnt if you embark on this enterprise. Leave the lands where it is. Too many people have suffered because of it. Please excuse me, Your Eminence. I'm, I'm in a terrible hurry. Of course you are. And you won't listen to my advice. Don't worry about me, Your Eminence. Everything is fine. Good luck.
I haven't the time. His Holiness awaits my report. Okay, let's not waste any more time. <laughs> I deduce that you're impatient to master what's in store for you. That is good. I thought I'd mix business with pleasure for this first time. What do you mean by that? The conference will come to a close shortly, as you know. Not that I'm fed up with archaic diplomacy, but it's time to ensure the success of this project. To make this happen, I would like Piaget to inform the Pope he has changed signs. You... you're going to use your powers to alter the votes? The real game is about to begin, Louis. Up till now, the guests have been sizing each other up. From now on, it's time for Gregory and myself to play. As well as you yourself. Now, here is my plan. I would like you to join his eminence in his room. Just play along. We'll see when the time comes. Very well. And then? You're going to have to trust me. What we're going to do is painless for the human you are going to invade. Invade? Yes. You're going to enter his mind and take control. You're going to influence his actions and his psyche. Make him speak, then concentrate. You must focus on him in order to feel his thoughts. Then. While speaking, you must link with him. Once you're done, you will naturally find your way to the source and enter into his thoughts. But what if I fail? Trust in your instincts. You just have to let yourself go. You have the skill. Let your nature come to the fore. You'll see. If you fail, you'll be in for some light banter with his eminence. That's all. There's nothing to be afraid of. Very well. Perfect. Go now. The Cardinal is in his room. You will have to write a letter to the Pope, as if Piaggi had written it himself. In this letter, tell the Pope that whatever happens during the conference, he must follow my propositions. But be careful. In order to protect himself from counterfeiters, the Pope had Piaggi's hand tattooed with a symbol to be sure of his identity. You'll see when you're inside him. You'll understand. Once it's written up, just bring it back to me, and I'll send it off immediately. All right. I'll take care of it. Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Ah, well. Louis, what brings you back to my chambers? May I sit down? Of course, Louis. Don't you feel good? Yes, but... If I'm going to pass inside you, I'd better sit myself down first. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Well, what can I do for you? Right. Now I need to concentrate. I wanted to speak to you, Your Eminence. What exactly is your role with regard to the Holy Father? I... What? What on earth is he playing at? It's coming. You're a cardinal in Pictori. Why don't you admit it? Him. Pertinent little brat. Louis, I don't find this conversation in very good taste. All right, it's coming. Come on, Giuseppe, let me in. What? Uh, uh, I've done it. I've done it, damn it. He was right. This is just crazy. I can't believe it. Look at yourself, Louis. You better not get caught. Whoa. I still need to get used to this body. So, let's see about what Mortimer asked me. Right. Well, it's time I got started. Let's see what I can find here to help me write that letter. I have no means to validate my forgery, so... I better take my time with and not make any mistakes. There are two letters from the Pope on the desk. I should be able to get a clue or two by checking how well they correspond to each other. And here are three stamps. All are different.
Right. Well, let's start writing. Lord Mortimer asked me to discredit Sir Gregory and to announce Piaggi's final vote in his favor. As an introduction, Your Holiness, thank you for your trust. It even appears that Lord Mortimer and Sir Gregory both have access to obscure, superior forces to help them reach their ends. I think the Papal States, for the sake of their own preservation, ought to condemn this practice of conferences in the future. I've already seen the seal. Yes, it looks like the stamp that Piaggi applied to the letter he handed to me. Justizia, misericordia e umulta. Boy, I think it's in Italian. Justice, mercy, and humility. I remember the seal that Piaggi used for the letter he confided me with. Huh, I don't recognize this one. On it is written, Flore in Domo Domini. Latin, it blooms in the house of God. When Piaggi handed me that letter to give to my mother, I noticed the seal, and this one is clearly different. A circle with a cross inside. In one of the letters, the Pope asked Piaggi to change and to stop using his personal stamp. He asked him to use the one with the Pope's motto on it. And I remember that. Flore in Domo Domini. Must be in Latin. There's a kind of code composed of six letters that they always write under the dates of their correspondence. According to Mortimer, it's got something to do with Piaggi's tattoo. I guess I'll have to write one for today's date. Now, ideally, it'd be better to do without it, but I'm going to need to be extremely clever here. Today, the date is 2401-1793. In the letters from the Pope, there are six letters just below the date, two just below the month, four others below the year. Piaggi's tattoo. It must be used to establish a connection between the letter of the concentric circle and the number shown in the middle. Some figures are the same in both codes, yet they correspond to different letters. The day is not translated. That must be the key to the code. Today the date is 2401-1793. 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 Today is the 2401-1793. Your eminence, all ready to send... What's he doing here? Damn it. That's all I need. Don't worry, he can't hear us. What do you mean, he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? Because the old goat is going to drop us. It's a lousy turncoat. Well, he'd better not tell me he just fell asleep. Calm down, my friend. The poor boy has just passed out. We were talking about this and that when suddenly he fainted. Healed over, just like that. Huh, really? What a weakling. Uh, I wonder what Mortimer sees in him. Who knows? I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go? There he is, and there he stays. <laughs> it's a perfect opportunity. 
What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Uh, uh, no, listen, my son. This is all getting out of hand. Hogwash! I don't trust him in the slightest. Why not? Can you keep a secret? No, I don't think I'd like to know about anything that would justify such an act. I don't know what's wrong with you, but you really must pull yourself together. The conference will soon be on us, and I don't need you falling to pieces now. Don't worry, I shall be there. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? The slime bag. He works for Mortimer. Uh, good thing I already tried to warn Gregory. Committing a crime in my room is out of the question. Think, it will all be on our heads. No doubt about it. I... I refuse to run the risk. Right. Monsieur Von Von, I always act in the best interest of all. I assure you. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. You must have lost your mind to want to take such an extreme course of action. No one's asking you to help me do it. He is capable of reporting me to Sir Gregory. Uh, I'm really risking my neck here. You can't attack him without running the risk of jeopardizing the conference. Even though Sir Gregory has the edge? No. Gregory will never forgive you. Very well, Piaggi. You win. I refuse to let you do the first thing that comes into your head. I don't know what the two of you are up to, but I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Time for me to get back into my body. Right. Don't just stand there, Louis. Mortimer's waiting for you in the Red Salon. Your Eminence, all ready to send the... What's he doing here? Damn it. That's all I need. Don't worry, he can't hear us. What do you mean, he can't hear us? What's going on here, Piaggi? Is the old... Goat is going to drop us. It's a lousy turncoat. Well, he'd better not tell me he just fell asleep. Just calm down, calm down. Louis came to see me because he claimed he was hearing voices. We've just finished an exorcism session. An exorcism? Are you having me on? I can't see any exorcism instruments. That's because I've just put them away. I don't know what you're up to, Piaggi. But I do know you're trying to pull one over on me. I was about to fetch someone to take care of him. Would you care to go... There he is. And there he stays. <laughs> the perfect opportunity. What do you mean? It's been a while now that I've been hoping for a chance to get rid of him. Uh, uh, no, listen, my son. This is all getting out of hand. Hogwash! I don't trust him in the slightest. Why not? Can you keep a secret? No, I don't think I'd like to know about anything that would justify such an act. I don't know what's wrong with you. But you really must pull yourself together. The conference will soon be on us. And I don't need you falling to pieces now. Don't worry, I shall be there. We've wasted enough time. What if he wakes up? If you don't want to get your hands dirty, just turn away and leave everything to me. This is not a decision to be taken lightly. You're defending him now. What are you talking about? Of course not. He's made you change sides, hasn't he? The slime bag. He works for Mortimer. Uh, good thing I already tried to warn Gregory. Even if I confess, his arguments hit home. So that's it. You don't even bother to hide it. 
What's the connection between my vote and his life? I knew you would end up changing sides. Listen carefully, Piaggi. If you say anything, you'll be the one they find dead in your bed. Huh? Now, just turn around and let me handle this. Stop! Now! If you don't want to end up the same way, you will do as you are told and vote for what we tell you. Is that understood? I forbid you. Fulner? No. He's infected my body with whatever's in that syringe. He's poisoned me. Get out, Louis. No one must find you here. Well, my friends, here we all are. <coughs> Isn't the Duchess meant to be with us? No, she's resting in her room. Don't worry. The conference can resume. Now, we all know the tensions have been running high, but now is not the moment to give in. The main thing is that just one vote can suffice. Yes, to... indeed. It will only take one of you opposing his project to win the conference. But I would rather have us united until the end. Meanwhile, let us remain on our guard against any last-minute surprises. I know my brother well. He never prepares for war if he has no chance of winning.